Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of This Week in the Tech News in 2018. Mm, all the possibilities for 2018 and we're only on the 3rd of January, so so much time for things to happen. Anyway, before I go on with the news, I have to announce that next week is CES. Now I do realize that I started that sentence as though I'm actually going to CES, which unfortunately I'm not. But what I'm going to be doing is at the end of every day, I'm going to be releasing a kind of roundup video of the most important stories at CES. So next week is going to be a very busy week for Hard On Hardware. Stay tuned for all of that, but now let's get to the tech news. Now first off, the whole Intel and Vega coalition is becoming more and more real. In fact, Intel has released a spec of an i7-8809G, which is apparently going to be quite a beefy little CPU. They've actually listed it on their website between the 7740X, which is like the weird X299 i5 CPU, and the 8700K. Now apparently it's going to be a quad core, eight thread CPU with, well, weirdly, it's got the kind of 630 HD kind of Intel integrated graphics in it, and then also a Vega chip, which doesn't hugely make sense to me, but I mean, maybe they kind of like have to help each other out and then form like uber Intel AMD graphics. Uh, yeah, so it's quite exciting. Although they don't really give you much information on the Vega chip that they're using, they don't give you kind of like how much memory they have on the die for it. Uh, I can't imagine it's going to be a huge amount, but the chip is quite big, so maybe they can fit some HBM2 on it. That would be crazy if they do. Um, I think it's quite exciting. I'd really like to see how these perform, and maybe they're going to be a great run at a genuine 1080p or maybe even 4040p, 1440p gaming all-in-one CPU, maybe? Let's hope. So moving on from the two big IT companies to, well, pretty much the other big chip maker, NVIDIA has announced that they're no longer going to be allowing the use of GeForce cards in data center use. They do put a big asterisk next to it and say that not you not for use in data centers, but you can still use it for blockchain applications, i.e. mining, uh, which is a bit sad. But the reason that they've implemented this use is that they want they want data centers to be using their kind of Tesla and Tegra cards because well they they cost more and it means that it kind of saves their supply a little bit for the gamers so hopefully it's not going to mess up their their pricing as much for the gaming community now this seems like they're being all really generous and caring about the gaming community but i think the main reason they're doing this is just so that they can charge more for for their their kind of data center cards for things like tesla and Tegra. Let me know what you think, whether you're really happy about this move or you think it's a bit weird. One thing that is a bit strange is that in the they're actually going to enforce this in, in the drivers apparently and it's going to mean that people who are currently using GeForce cards as server graphics cards, um, it, it's, it's going to be illegal soon and something will happen. I mean, I don't know if if the NVIDIA police are going to show up at their house and arrest their firstborn child. I don't exactly know how they're going to enforce it. They'll probably fine them. That's a bit less stupid. Um, but in other NVIDIA news, I actually almost forgot about this story. NVIDIA is supposedly going to be, an, uh, going to be releasing a GTX 1060 5 gig edition, which is really unusual to me um, because that's not way less than 6 gig. But I think the thinking behind it is that it uses less memory because just memory is so expensive and then they can kind of sell the card for cheaper and because it's only a gig difference, maybe it won't impact the performance that much. But the thing that gets me the most about this story, about this potential release, is that it means that they're really not in a hurry for Volta. The fact that there, there's another Pascal card that they're going to be releasing is an indication that, okay, yeah, maybe they're just trying to get rid of all the Pascal GPUs, but 
still, there, there's, there's potentially a new Pascal graphics card coming out. And moving swiftly on to the last story about LG, who have in a pretty weird move announced their new flagship television right before CES. Uh, it's a bit of an unusual move, but I think the reason they did that is so that they don't have to compete with the huge throbbing mass of television news that comes out in CES. Um, anyway, the TV is pretty insane. It's going to be an 88-inch 8K OLED TV, which is going to be huge, super sharp, and not going to have any native content available for it for at least the next five years. But, you know, future-proofing and all that. Um, rumor has it that the two girls holding the monitor actually comes with it if you do buy it, considering how much it costs. And yes, I think that's the end of this week in the tech news. Um, Please do let me know in the comments below what kind of coverage you specifically want me to look at in this whole CES thing, if there's anything that you're specifically interested in. And uh, yes, if you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, or otherwise dislike the video if you didn't like it, and yes, don't subscribe. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.